Let's go to So we're back in the garage today and I finally got the head back for my KX125 rebuild. Uh, so I'm going to show you all a little bit the tail end of this rebuild and uh, show you all what all I've done to it and pretty much get this engine back in there, throw some plastics and graphics on it and then uh, list it on Facebook and see what we can sell it for. So yeah, let's jump right in. Got the whole bottom in together. Uh, we took it apart, resealed the cases, checked everything. Everything came out good. Uh, looks like it had a hot rod bottom end not too long ago, so the bottom end is pretty solid. So now all we got to do is slap, in, slap on this uh, head. I got it replated by uh, Millennium Technologies. They did a good job on it. It's looking fresh. So we got our new wrist pin bearing, wrist pin, and piston on here. I'm going to slap some gloves on real quick. All right, top end is on. It is complete and ready to go in the bike. So we got the bike together. It's looking awesome. It's looking fresh. This old FMF fatty cleaned up so nice. Uh, it's looking really good. I'm excited. Uh, all we got to do now is put fluids in it and the hour meter. And then we're going to try and fire it up. And once we get it running, we're going to go ahead and throw on the plastics. Now that we got the engine in, we got the carburetor on and the exhaust, we're going to test fire it and see if it'll start. And after that, we'll be throwing the plastics on and the rest of the stuff. And we'll put it on Facebook, take some good pictures. And yeah, that'll be a wrap.
plastic style. Ooh, this could be looking fresh. Gonna do is rub them down in alcohol and install the graphics and then put them on a the bike. So now that I got the graphics done, I need to go ahead and mount the hour meter. I'm gonna put it like right here on the frame and I'm gonna use a uh, urethane, which is windshield glue to do that because I use it for stuff like this all the time and it just works really good. Alright guys, here she is, the 99KX125, fully rebuilt, she sounds crisp, rides crisp, and uh, we're going to put it on Facebook and see how much we can get for it, but I'll give y'all a little, a little show, show y'all what it's like. I'm excited, it's my first full rebuild and uh, it came out really nice. So glad y'all could see it. Uh, we got another one gonna be doing soon and then I got a little pit bike we're gonna be building too, I mentioned uh, in the last video. So yeah, y'all stick around. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all stay tuned, uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff to come. So I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all take it easy. Well, we ran into a problem. It done locked up. The connecting rod froze. So they do not offer a uh, crank, a replacement crank for this one. So I'm gonna have to get this crank rebuilt. So I got a connecting rod on the way and new bearings. And uh, we'll go ahead and slap it back together once all that comes in and we'll go for round two.